How about there? Can you hear me okay now? So Hill City and Solo, can you guys hear me now? I'll kick the volume up here while we're waiting for to see if uh, other people jump on. Is that better? All right, great. Did a mic check before I jumped on, and then all of a sudden, uh, no sound. <laughs> yeah, early bird drawing. That's always good. Yeah, so we're going to jump in today. Uh, just trying to get used to the, uh, still getting used to the live stream sort of stuff. Um, but uh, we'll go through. We'll have some giveaways today thanks to uh, the Game Changers program and Nick uh, allowing me to give some out. Um, so we'll have uh, uh, two giveaways. Uh, one will kind of go partway midstream, and then we'll have uh, another one towards uh, towards the end. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a uh, good number of viewers on, try to get... Uh, uh, 50 viewers on if we can just to uh, to do the giveaways and then uh, uh, hopefully just have some fun today so what I started doing uh, started playing around with a way to make it a little bit more interactive and uh, the thing that I uh, came up with was uh, to try to come up with a wheel of coaches and so what we'll do is we'll go through and uh, we'll I'll bring up a wheel and then we'll give the wheel a spin and we'll see which coach that uh, that I'm going to play with uh, for uh, overdrive or arena, whatever you guys want to uh, want to try to do, um, but uh, hopefully try to talk through just my strategy and overdrive with those coaches, and then uh, go through some of the plays uh, that I I particularly like. And then of course for any of you guys that are on here, of course there's a few of you guys that are are a lot better at OD than uh, than I am. Um, but any any feedback or comments you guys have for the group about uh, about differences in strategy. Uh, that sort of thing. Uh, let me, uh, you know, just let the group know. I, I'm sure they would like to hear your guys' feedback also. So we'll uh, we'll kick off. We'll kick off with OD. Uh, so hopefully I don't get ground down too much. I'm sure some of the uh, the six seven K power guys will get on and, and uh, nail me a few times <laughs> during this segment. But uh, uh, what we'll try to do is go through and uh, made Hall of Fame already. I think I hit 47 wins uh, this time around uh, to the Hall of Fame mark. Mostly burning with uh, Shanahan and Garrett, uh, but I usually go through uh, at least four different uh, four different coaches um, yeah let me know if you guys can't hear uh, a couple people saying that they they can but uh, it seems like most people have said that uh, he's that, that it seems fine now I'll turn it up just a little bit more and see if that uh, if that helps at all so uh, uh, We'll go through, and uh, like I said, I've got uh, several coaches that are maxed out, so they're on my wheel. Uh, the wheel that I have, so we'll have uh, Garrett, Marone, Vrabel, we have uh, uh, Lafleur, Rivera, Nagy. I put Kingsbury on there, even though he's not uh, he's not fully maxed out for me, uh, but we'll still play around with him. I have Zimmer, Shanahan, and then Lynn. I need to give uh, give the Vert uh, coaches a little more love on some uh, on some upgrades. But so we'll spin the wheel. And like I said, we'll go through uh, each of those sorts of uh, sorts of, sorts of things. So he'll say a no sound for you now. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it uh, hopefully it'll stay up. Looks like everything's fine on my end from the sound side. Mic looks good, and uh, stream looks like it's coming through. But let me know if you guys see anything weird as we as we go through. I did change the setup just a little bit. Hopefully trying to make it a little bit more efficient. Uh, but uh, but we'll see how that goes.
And we've got the giveaway bought up. So uh, once we hit around the 20 minute mark or so, 20, 30 minute mark or so, uh, then we'll, uh, we'll try to go ahead and start, uh, uh, start doing a giveaway. So let's see, let's swap over. We'll show you the wheel that I've put up here. So this is the, the wheel of coaches. I've got them all laid out with their, uh, with their color scheme. And so we will go ahead and give the, uh, the wheel a spin. And let's see who we, uh, who we come up with. All right, so we've got Garrett. Garrett's a little bit, uh, uh, it's not bad. We'll switch out occasionally here, so let me know when you guys get tired of, uh, uh, of playing with Garrett and, uh, and seeing that. But uh, so Garrett, what's nice about Garrett is he's got six different run pressures essentially that we can use and fire at our uh, opponent, uh, which is great. In overdrive, obviously the running is a little bit more challenging than the passing. Uh, the game meta currently is uh, just trying to you know throw as many go routes as you can into the end zone um, and minimize mistakes. But uh, Garrett's got some good. Uh, Good coaching tactics. I like his increased blitz. That allows the, your defense to pick it up a little bit and, and increase blitz chance into the end of the opponent. Uh, make sure that they're going to be rushed more. Although that can be exploited if you can get the ball off quickly enough, then you're not going to have any issues uh, being able to uh, uh, you know throw over top of those defenders as they blitz in. He's got some pretty good player boosts with uh, cornerbacks and linebackers and uh, middle linebackers getting some man coverage boosts and then his bull rush tactic uh, giving strength and block shedding to the defensive ends and the linebackers as well as some additional zone coverage boosts to the cornerbacks. Um, his points boost that he has are the halfback and TE receptions tax really is not the most effective rule in the uh, in the uh, in the possible tactics that are available for coaches but uh, but certainly you know it, it's a it's a decent run challenge with a decent amount of points attached to it then uh, finally his uh, his West Coast series ends with uh, adjusting the defense to increase the protect the sticks which means it's going to try to get that defense set up to be able to stop the, uh, the the first down marker from happening and then finally to close out the match as long as you're not uh, not behind in the match at the end then the past 20 plus yards penalty is uh, is not bad it actually is a pretty decent run challenge against the opponent uh, or for the opponent and then again it's going to make it really hard if you're if you've got the lead then it's going to make it really hard for you to uh be able to uh uh catch back up uh, with that minus 75 percent points if you have him completely uh, completely maxed out in terms of plays he's got a lot of good plays that uh, that i know a lot of people like we have uh uh you, you didn't miss anything orange just uh, just kind of running through garrett before i start playing with him a bit He's got Texas, which is an excellent play for uh, overdrive and for uh, uh, for LVL. Levels Y Cell also is useful for uh, uh, for LVL. Cowboy Double Ends is a great one that's uh, useful for OD as well because you have that go route going down the sideline. Same with Cowboy Cross Screen, Wide Receiver Sluggo. And he actually has uh, Halfback Blast, uh, which is actually a decent run play to use to try to get past those uh, uh, you know, tougher run challenges that you're going to experience in, uh, in, in overdrive. So let's go ahead and jump in. We'll play a little bit and I'll kind of show you the way in which I like to, uh, I like to fire those particular tactics. And again, feel free to chat and uh, disagree and uh, let me know how the video quality is. Like I said, I changed up things just a little bit, uh, hopefully to make it a little bit better, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah hey, hey, go ahead, uh, spin up. You can, uh, like I said, I'll show you, I'll show the, the guys here how to struggle professionally. <laughs> That's good. Thanks, Greeny. <clears throat> and one thing I did not do is I did not swap out my team. So right now I'm going to be running with uh, three elite linemen and uh, uh, in there just for the power side of things. So we'll see how the, that line holds up against somebody that, with a comparable team. <clears throat> So again, I'm playing with Landry. I like to use Landry overall. I usually start out with uh, with PA boot LT or PA boot over LT, and then I usually go to Z shallow cross. I like to get the increased blitz going first, just to try to get more uh, more pressure onto the uh, onto the opponent, um, and then hopefully that uh, that results in some more sacks. 
On my early runs, since I run spread, I usually try to use one of the read option plays where I'll use halfback dive and try to see just what that looks like uh, in terms of the blocking for them and how that's working. The other thing I did not do is go through and change out my boosts, so I'm running with my normal sort of default boosts that I have uh, in place for uh, for LVL, not for uh, uh, OD. So like I said, we'll see how, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I like to save the uh, the, the tax uh, till uh, mid match just to have that rule in there available to counter if I need to. Uh, the other really nice thing about Garrett is that he has those uh, two separate rules spaced out pretty well to be able to counter uh, people whether they're using uh, uh, Lin, you know, the wide receiver boost, or if they have other boosts that, uh, or other rules that they uh, they put in. Then you can kind of save them as you need to uh, counter at uh, different points in the match. Yeah, I agree. That seems to be what most people think uh, uh, spread is, just Z, Shallow Cross, and, uh, and Smash. Although those are really good plays. Oh, get in there. <clears throat> Couldn't get the six-yard mark. Z, Z Shallow Cross, though, is one of the best uh, best plays in the spread playbook, especially if you're on uh, uh, long downs. It's just one where you can get the defense to uh, to cheat down. Uh, one example is here. If we run Z Shallow Cross and we look at the defenders, now with this, uh, uh, the way this defense is right now, we've got the safety that may come in for a blitz, and if that happens, we're going to have to dump the ball off. But in this case, we can, scroll, we can roll out, and then we'll see the defense, that safety will pull back down and leave that, uh, that receiver fairly wide open, which which is nice. Uh, now here we have an 11-yard run challenge, so here I might try to swap out and go to halfback blast, and I try to in overdrive also try to make sure that they, I, I try to play off the AI if I can. And so in those cases, what I'm looking to try to do is maybe run left multiple times and uh, and get the AI to cheat in a uh, in a particular direction. I need to get my uh, captain bonus rolling out here. Um, but uh, then I'll try to run it back left for those uh, longer challenges to, again, hopefully get the AI to cheat off to the left-hand side or get them to cheat center and then uh, be able to hopefully make up some, uh, uh, some ground that way. Come on, hold your blocks. Maybe I can get one more playoff and get the captain bonus before the uh, clock runs out. Maybe not. Didn't even get Landry's bonus that time talking. <laughs> It's hard to talk and play OD. I don't know. I've uh, swapped over from uh, YouTube side of things, so I can certainly I'll look at the emote points and figure out uh, you know what I need to do from that perspective. For me, Twitch is a little bit uh, a little bit new uh, the interface and trying to get it all set up. So you guys want to swap out and go to a different coach or uh, yeah, I agree, Greeny. I like Twitch. Uh, I like Twitch so far. I just need to uh, get everything set up for all the t cool toys I can uh, I, I can apply. Yeah, I agree, SBP. I, I might have done that. It depends. If I if I see that wide receiver bonus kick in, then uh, I try to take advantage of it first. If I if I if they fire off the wide receiver bonus, then I'll try to throw a couple of uh, a couple of. Uh, uh, deep balls and see if I'm I'm getting contact. And if I'm making contact with the uh, with the receivers, uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, is just keep trying to abuse that wide receiver bonus. If I see that I'm not getting anything on the deep balls and they're not making any catches, then I'll try to turn that off if I can. But I, I let it uh, uh, I let it kind of play out and see what happens uh, in terms of uh, whether I turn it off or not. All right, well we'll spin again. Let's spin the wheel again and let's see. Uh, let's see who we uh, who we have to play with. All right, so, hey Zimmer. So whoever uh, picked Zimmer, there you go, Zimmer for the win, Greeny. All right, so let's swap over to uh, to Zimmer. Zimmer's also is one of my favorite OD coaches. Like I said, when I go through a season, I get bored after a few matches, and I, I usually don't make it through the Hall of Fame top 500. If I even do try to do a uh, top 100 run, I never. Uh, uh, I never go through less than probably four coaches uh, trying to go through that process. Now Zimmer's really cool. Zimmer has, uh, again, we've got six different run pressures, so that means we're going to have some tough challenges uh, for our opponent. He still has the increased blitz. We've got some decent boosts for our uh, cornerbacks, middle linebackers, and linebackers with pursuit and man coverage increases. Um, the reception tax, again, is one that really doesn't uh, have much impact in terms of points in the game, but uh, uh, the the 
that play tends to screw people up. I mean, if you're if you're not an experienced OD player, you'll fire that tactic, and it almost seems like uh, your opponent doesn't know whether they should try to uh, complete a pass or just try to run, um, even though they're, and they're really not making the calculation that even it maxed out the 12 points is not that much of a killer uh, for a complete pass, and so. Uh, uh, you know, again, it just tends to freeze people up. And then again, you can close out with your two big run plays uh, at the end. And, uh, you know, I agree. The, I try to do the, uh, uh, the the purples and get the boosts. And then, uh, but, but it varies. It depends on, on who, I'm, uh, who I'm playing. Uh, yeah, and I agree with you. I, I, like, uh, I like Zimmer uh, for OD, but his plays are not that good. Uh, LVL, he's got a couple like Z-Spot. We've got flanker, uh, flanker Drive that's good. PA Slot Cross is not bad, uh, especially if you burn through your PA Boot Overs as a spread player. Um, PA FL Drive is good. Angle Smash is a solid play. And I like Viking Slot Chase and uh, the Minneapolis Miracle for short yardage. Um, but when it comes to overdrive and you really need to pass those run challenges, the halfback off tackle just tends to get blown up, and uh, halfback cutback is the same way that, uh, that the pulling guard just comes over and usually just gets killed if the player is at uh, a reasonable level. So let's jump in, and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll play some overdrive with, uh, with Zimmer. Yeah, Z spot. That's it's a classic one. And hopefully I won't spin into AE. <laughs> so you like purple, purple, blue, 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 SBP? Yeah, when it comes to coaches, you know, I try to make sure that I've, I've got a 17-point coach, 18 points at the max, uh, running with a 14-second captain plus the full scheme boost. Um, so that usually is my biggest thing to determine whether or not I'm going to use a coach or not. Uh, second is then whether they have all run pressures. All run pressures are just more OP than uh, that than not although like Shanahan sometimes Shanahan's pressures the 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 players seem to get in there and result in sacks um so we'll fire off here we'll go purple purple blue 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 in honor of uh of SBP oh man the tipped pass hate that <clears throat> hang on to the ball And I like coaches too, where the point spacing as you go up keeps a uh, a reasonable sort of um, uh, reasonable sort of pace in terms of tactics. I don't like it uh, to get you know too much time in between uh, a set of tactics. Um, otherwise, you give the opponent too much time to uh, to get comfortable and uh, get a rhythm going. <clears throat> Maxed Vic for the win. Oh, stuffed. Yeah, I agree, Greeny. That it's tough. A halfback cutback can work. I mean, it, it it can be a successful play, but I probably get blown up on it uh, fifty percent of the time. With the Wi-Fi, is it better, Hill City? So there we've got that underneath cover we did have until my receiver passed him up. But that's what I also look for, and I think that's pretty much the OD uh, OD sort of. Uh, uh, secret is to make sure you throw under the coverage. Um, there's very few times, unless you're just overpowering your opponent or have a complete mismatch with cornerbacks and wide receivers where you can throw over the top. Um, otherwise, uh, otherwise, you're looking to try to throw to the receiver that actually is below the coverage to keep from having that ball uh, picked off. Now, I like this uh, when you use... Uh, PA waggle like that, you'll see how the defense kind of cheated to the inside like that, and it's wide open, uh, wide open yardage for that crossing route. Yeah, 
Yeah, Viking slot chase is, is nice. That's a good play. 18 yards. Let's see if we can make... Oh, got sacked. Thought I could squeeze it in there. Man, that uh, offensive line is not doing its job. Really is hard to talk and play OD for sure. All right, so should we spin again? <laughs> Let's spin again. Let's see who we get. And we're about the uh, about the 25 point mark, 25 minute mark. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and try to uh, to spin up a giveaway if uh, you guys are interested in doing a giveaway. Yeah, I've still got the elite offensive line if you want to check out my uh, my current team. So that's where I'm sitting right now. I've got the three offensive uh, linemen in there as elites. And then uh, defense, I keep that. You know, obviously that's uh, where it ought to be. And then my boosts, I don't like to use my same LVL boosts uh, that, that I do for OD. Actually, for overdrive when I'm playing, I like to, uh, my personal preference and where I see personally the most success is I have the uh, max reducer. I put in my O-line booster uh, because chances are I'm going to run into a, uh, a person with multiple run challenges. And then I put in the uh, receiver um receiver increase the, the increased speed and then uh, just to get that speed boost and then I usually put in my running back booster also because chances are I'm going to run into somebody with high power that's reducing the crap out of me and uh, and I need to counter that um, so let's see if we uh, let's go ahead and maybe run the uh, giveaway we'll do uh, we'll try the keyword thing again I reloaded nightbot so hopefully uh, that will uh, that will work this time uh, so the giveaway that we've got, so uh, for lunch, as Greeny has asked, uh, we have a uh, 98 uh, to 99 uh, 130 power player. Um, so if you guys are in the chat or bring on the people, we'll bring in anybody from the from uh, outside you guys want to bring in, but uh, we'll roll it up. Let's uh, use the keyword. Um, since we're going to play with uh, Shanahan, let's go. Uh, let's make the keyword Shanahan. give everybody just a, a minute to get in there and type their response. And thanks everybody for stopping by, checking out the, the Twitch channel. It's just for fun, hanging out, thought we could do a lunch, uh, lunch series maybe. And I'll try to do these uh, on a daily, kind of bi-daily kind of basis. Yeah, that's true, SPP. Didn't know this was going to be a spelling quiz, did you? Uh, no, it's not case sensitive. Hey, Sivo. Uh, no, no hate towards Bama. That's been an excellent rivalry in the history of uh, Tennessee and Alabama football. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, we'll roll it. So make sure everybody's got your uh, Shanahan in. going to roll and uh, let's count down. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. All right, so uh, solutions for everyone. If you uh, send me your, uh, uh, or I'll DM you, get in touch with me, and we'll uh, we'll get together. Send me, I'll send you a whisper, and then we can uh, uh, meet up to or match up to get your UID and get your uh, which player you want. All right, so we rolled uh, we rolled Shanahan on the on the wheel. I'm going to go ahead and swap in my uh, my normal team. 
so let's jump in and uh, and add back. I do need some O-line love. That's one thing for sure that uh, that I'm weak on, which is why I keep those offensive linemen in there for power purposes. Um, and still need to burn up some more seasons in order to uh, get the uh, get the training points up. So let's jump in. So Shanahan again. You know, you guys know. Uh, you, hopefully, you guys play with Shanahan or, or, or have uh, at least tinkered around with him. I mean, he's a cool coach. He's an interesting one because he does not have uh, uh, all uh, d just one series of run pressures, and so usually that's a weakness inside of OD um, is not having uh, six different run pressures. Um, but where he makes up the difference is in his uh, scoring in his offensive scoring. Uh, package that he has and so he has uh, three main rules which is the rush TDs bonus so you get 80 points for actually you and your opponent are going to get 80 points um, and just a note real quick we will we'll have one more giveaway um, uh, when we get to the end of the stream probably around 12 45 ish something like that um, so that way uh, everybody can uh, can hang out and we'll do one more giveaway um, but the, that rush touchdown bonus is going to work for you and your opponent. There's going to be a 30-second window where you and your opponent, if you get a rushing touchdown, you can uh, get an extra 80 points. Uh, his uh, offensive tactic is going to be uh, extra 80 points for each passing touchdown. And so that works for you and your opponent. Uh, but then where you can really throw a haymaker at the end of a match is where you have uh, your just a self-rule that lasts for uh, uh, 30 seconds where you have... Uh, uh, pass touchdowns worth uh, 80 points uh, just for you and so really you can uh, you can make up some ground if you're behind or you can really put somebody away uh, potentially there and what's nice is where these rules are lo located and the low point totals required to fire them off you know you can uh, throw a short pass and not make it quite into the end zone fire off the rush touchdown bonus and blast in a, uh, a, a touchdown and then immediately fire off the next tactic for example the the passing touchdown tactic and fire one bomb one into the end zone uh, for your next play to get huge yardage plus the touchdown plus the bonus. Um, so it really is a pretty uh, pretty potent combination. And then his uh, run challenges actually are uh, reasonably difficult. He also has a really good playbook in my personal uh, opinion. Um, the uh, uh, again he's got Z spot which everybody loves uh, PA boot roll is not a bad one um, curl deep out which is an interesting play because your uh, your dime uh, actually runs the uh, either the flat route or the uh, the angle route uh, Frisco which is one of my favorite spread plays from last year which is still a great play uh, Salem Kitty PA slot cross all of those are also good uh, LVL and uh, and uh, uh, OD plays. I don't like quick pitch. I, I wish quick pitch picked up the blocks more often, uh, but unfortunately for me, that does not seem to be the case. That play gets blown up almost all the time. But uh, H zone weak as well as uh, 26 duo are not bad for trying to uh, uh, beat up these uh, longer rung challenges. Let's jump in. Let's uh, we'll take a look and play with uh, Shanahan. Any of you guys use Shanahan or like Shanahan primarily? Hey Jerry, thanks for coming on the stream, man. Hey Brett. Yeah, Lynn's popular. So this will be fun. So I'm sitting at a uh, plus three, minus one, uh, 6087 versus my 5627. So we'll see how this goes. But again, with Shanahan, we've got some nice rules to be able to counter that wide receiver challenge if we have the situation that we're not getting uh, deep passes to connect. Oh, Calvin Johnson with the pick. Try to get some pressure in there. Overdrive gets a lot of hate, but I, I've always kind of liked the mode. It's a little bit different. I can't grind it. Uh, last year, I grinded top 30 uh, every year at le or every season, and uh, this year, I just don't have the time to be able to do it. It's a it's a it's a pretty hefty amount of time to grind that uh, that top 100 run, which I've only done probably three times this uh, this year. But I think it's fun. A little bit of a break of pace. So here you can watch. Uh, that's another uh, defensive move that happens with Z shallow cross. Is that defender will be just, uh, the, or the the defender will let the uh, the tight end or the wide receiver get completely around them uh, into the end zone, which is just brutal. Easy points. 
The other is uh, you'll see that safety again come in for a blitz, or you'll see it, it'll either be the safety or be a, uh, a linebacker. But you'll see that safety come in for the blitz, and then uh, in that case you have to dump the ball out, which usually I try to uh, catch those outside routes. Oh, come on. Vic froze up. So here we can see again, watch this defender pull down after we get so far out, and it just leaves the, uh, the tight end wide open to make the play. I'm going to let my uh, self-touchdown bonus kick in, see if we can make up some ground, and maybe get my Landry bonus at the same time we knock out a, uh, a touchdown. Come on, Kittle. So I always like to time that where I get my bonus at the same time as hitting that Shanahan uh, touchdown bonus. Oh, Landry dropping the pass. <clears throat> Got to hold on to those. Let's get some Frisco going. See if we can catch that crossing route or the inside. So there we got a nice bonus with that. Oh, I did not mean to hit Jet Sweep. That's a fat finger. That's going to get killed. Killed. See if we can get out of the hole here, get some underneath coverage. Calvin Johnson for the win. And a nice uh, finish off there with the 80 points plus the 60 plus the 10. So again, that's, uh, you know, I was overpowered pretty heavily there. You know, reduction on my side. And then, uh, you know, the nice thing with Shanahan's rules is just being able to change the complexion of the game, uh, which, I, uh, which I like. Should we spin again? Or do you guys want to pick a coach? Out of my uh, out of my list on the wheel there, if you can see it, because I play with all these guys all the time. I just the vert coaches. I really don't. Uh, yeah, we can do Nagy. You gonna make me do that? Nagy's not bad. Uh, Nagy's got some reasonable things. He's got a, a series of uh, run challenges. He's got a series of pass challenges, and does 80 points. Uh, you know, for the pass touchdowns can be uh, can be useful. Um, the the thing with Nagy is his plays are just terrible. I mean, they're they're bad. For LVL, they're bad. For uh, for OD, they're just generally bad. Uh, none of these pass the major run challenges. That 95 Mike gets blown up. Halfback counter trap gets blown up. Um, they're just uh, they're just generally not good plays. And then you don't have any streak plays or go routes uh, to really chase after what you need for overdrive. So you got stick and nod, which is a meh play at best. And uh, again, it's, he's just rough. But we'll we'll give him a go. I could stand to lose some. Uh, Stand to lose some points. And I generally don't... Uh... <laughs> Oh yeah, Kingsbury, King